A-level chemistry, paper three predictions, and last minute revision tips to help you secure that A-star. You guys have been through the ringer this week with two papers. Let this video help you guide your revision with predictions based off how frequently topics came up on paper three in previous years. First things first, energetics and thermodynamics come up all of the time and it's usually worth a big chunk of mark. Again, the topic that we see consistently allocated many, many marks in paper three is those rate equations. So make sure you're very confident with that. If you're not confident, you need to plow through practice papers at this point and targeted practice paper questions. And again, it's always in the top three, your carboxylic acids and derivatives. Again, practice paper questions, but mark them with the mark scheme and the examiner's report so that you can learn from other students' mistakes as well as just your own. You'll also pick up on key phrases they like to see. The mark schemes tend to repeat themselves in terms of phrasing, however, not in terms of questions. As well as this, be very confident with acids and bases and amount of substance because this consistently comes up time and time again in paper three in section A. Now, section B, your multiple choice question. These are quite difficult to predict, but I have some top tips for scoring high marks in this section. Read the question properly. Read the question properly. It's such simple advice, but so many people don't do it and then they choose the wrong answer. They like to word things in a very specific way where you have to read it a few times to actually understand what to do to get the answer. As in, in a way, they try and slip people up, especially those people who aren't really paying attention. Don't rush these, leave enough time for them. And look, if you're guessing, at least make an educated guess. Don't just make a random guess. Try and eliminate the incorrect answers by process of elimination if you can, because then you have a higher probability of selecting the right answer through guessing. Predictions for section B though could be based off what came up in previous papers. So we saw KP, KC, they just weren't on the previous papers. So be prepared for that. Rate equations questions, be prepared for it because they're normally worth a lot of marks anyway, and they've actually not come up that much in the previous papers. Also potentially something on transition metals and thermodynamics. Best of luck in your final exam tomorrow. Thank you everybody who followed along for the prediction series and be sure to stick around because I will be posting university study tips and more about general student life.